Dick, tonight we've got a non-conference matchup. Just because it's a non-conference matchup doesn't mean there's not a lot on the line. Mr. Nestler, I assure you, the selection committee pays close attention to these games. What's the starting five look like, you might ask? Well, whether it's a big game or a small game, your starting five has got to be ready to go, Dick. Hey, Brad, the matchup at the center position should really be exciting. These kids can make plays, big plays, and will often do so at opportune times. Tonight, we really have an interesting matchup at the center position. Number 41 is definitely the man in charge when he's out on the floor. His counterpart tonight is also a guy that likes to lead by example for his team. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action and see what's in store for us. And now for the tip. Here we go. Dump it inside. Grabs it. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. They work the perimeter. two-man action goes up for two ten seconds remaining on the shot clock excellent spacing that's so important to a good offensive set it's even more important to have talented guards like they have yeah that helps the shot from the baseline off the mark now they work it around the perimeter he takes the shot off the baseline a lot of people can't hit that shot anymore Dick that uh, 10 12 foot shot he had a medium range shot is a, uh, an extension on the outside with all sorts of time. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside troopers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Both teams are looking to get something going here. They like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Up and inside. Passes it out of the trap. Number 15 gets the ball. He almost found himself in some trouble there, Brad. Dipsy do Dunkaroo. And a momentary look from three point land. With the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, a great spin move to the basket. Number 20 takes the feed. 
and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The Owls looking to attack now in transition. Good score out of transition, baby. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. The Owls' focus coming into this game was to slow down the tempo. At present, the coaching staff is very happy with how they've been able to uphold this style of play. The coach has been praising them for their patience offensively and tough defense to this point. Guys? EA, of course, our third member, getting that additional insight and dealings from the sideline. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad, both coaching staffs expected this to be an even matchup. Who will throw the first punch, and how will the other react? All right, thanks, Aaron. Our trusty sideline reporter, Aaron Andrews, keeping everyone on their toes there on the sideline. And the ball goes out of play. They'll throw it in from the side. Looking for a good shot. He pulls up with a jumper. Another brick, baby. Building a new arena. Looking to move it around the perimeter. I'd see them change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. Working it around the perimeter. Percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. The power forward gets the pass. They work it around the perimeter from the top of the key. Nails the deuce. Tries the three, scorches the net. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? The Owls, coming into this game, wanted to play at a pace which suits their ball club. Specifically, they want the tempo to be on the slow side. Offensively, have longer drawn out possessions, and defensively, force their opponent into tough contested shots. At this point, the coaching staff is happy with their team's current style of play. That's, of course, Aaron Andrews, our correspondent on the sideline. Look at that spacing. For the bucket. Up and in. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Tries for two. The land. Pushes it up. Both teams looking to get things going here. Passes it out of the trap. 
I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He goes with a baby hook. He grabs the board. The shooting guard with the ball. They'll work it around the arc. With lots of room. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Great pass out of the trap, Brad. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. at the three. Nope. Grabs the board. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. They go into the low block. Goes up with it. And nice looking jumper in the lane. Two for one opportunity. Number 22 picks up the foul. On the outside. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. He could not get more wide open. Number two buries the three-pointer. Shooting guard with the ball. Throws it up, hoping for the best. The shot won't fall. At halftime, the Owls are ahead by five. Thus far, it's been a tightly contested game. Dick, what's your highlight of the first half? Well, the trifecta like we see here was and will be a part of the story of this game. We'll have to keep an eye on which team gets it going from out there in the second half. Let's get back to the action and see what happens. Temple really showed no signs of rust with their shooting in the first half, Dick. They certainly did, and their offensive execution was near perfection. Keeping it up will be the key. Ball coming in from the sideline. Dick, we're heading into the second half in our player matchup. It's going about the way we thought it would. Well, they're really doing a great job. Both guys getting good shots, really making them count, and really their teammates are getting the ball at the right time. Moving it around the perimeter. He's in the clear. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. That shot was definitely ill-advised. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. Looking for a good shot. Ten on the shot clock. The small forward with the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Hey, you don't have to be a space eater, a.k.a. a big guy to get on board. You just have to be relentless. Gave it up. Turnaround jumper. The Bulldogs have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brady's on fire. Now 
now looking to create with a ball screen. Hey, the pick and roll is one play that so many teams use these days. A great way to buy a step for the dribbler. The power forward with the ball. Dump it inside. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. They work the perimeter. Fakes a jumper, goes up with a shot. The missed shot. The Bulldogs like to play that half-court style of play. Wouldn't you agree with that? Pitt? Brad, half-court teams will try to out-execute their opponent. They're extremely patient and try to always utilize the clock. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Here comes the ball screen. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. The shooting guard with the ball. For two. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Now they work it around the perimeter. He dials long distance. The Bulldogs have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. On the outside. With the jump hook. Kept alive though, offensive rebound. Up and in. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And now they'll bring it up. Number 24 receives the pass. Up and inside. If the walls in their changing room could talk, so to speak, I'm sure there'd be some great stories that go along with this historic basketball program. Dick. Isn't it awesome, Brad? You walk into the building and you know you're somewhere special. And a momentary look from three-point land. Number 41 is the layup counts and the foul. He went hard to the hoop knowing he was going to get fouled. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Brad, before the game, both coaches and players said they were looking forward to tonight's matchup. Whose weaknesses will be exposed and who will really step up, guys? Aaron Andrews, our sideline correspondent. All of you know that with an additional insight there. A great trap initiated by the defense. Escape the trap. Looking for a good shot. He puts up the tray. Shot off. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Number 22 is whistled for the foul. Second team foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression.
Working it around the perimeter. Escapes the trouble and makes a pass up. The small forward gets the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Way off target. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, guys, it's obvious the coaching staff wants the team to slow it down. The tempo is definitely not where they want it. The players have been instructed to run the shot clock offensively and force the opposition to play defense for extended periods of time. Erin Andrews always close to the action. The point guard with the ball. They work it around the perimeter for the bucket. He couldn't get it to fall. No good. He makes the shot. Big finish coming here, partner. I'm not going anywhere. Well, offensively, this is when it's extremely important to have the right people shooting the basketball at the right times. The power forward with the ball. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Hey, dodge one there, Brad. The point guard takes the feed inside. Ball goes out of play. The baseline inbounds. He can't get the bucket to fall. Look at that spacing. He launches the bomb. Not there. The center gets the pass. Great composure to pass it despite the trap, lad. Cross court. He takes the wide open shot. That was nice. It's a one-point game. One point usually means free throws, Brad. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He's all alone. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's obviously carrying his team, Brad. His teammates need to follow his lead and join in on the action. Gave it up. Launches away. He misses the J. There's the tempo for the game thus far. Two teams who are picking and choosing when they want to push the ball, Brad. Cross court. He takes the open jumper. The support possession if they want a chance to win. Time out on the floor. Aaron Andrews, what do you got for us, okay? Well, I think at this juncture, it's important that the players on the court are all communicating. This is a message that the coaches will likely convey to their players. Everyone realizes that the margin for error is small and that paying attention to the details is the most important at this point. Let's see what happens. Well, Dick, execution coming out of a timeout is really important, wouldn't you say? Definitely, Brad. The play you call or defense you decide to run coming out of a timeout could make or break you. Good coaches will always ensure that their teams are clear on the expectations coming out of a timeout. Dick, six-point lead here. They have to keep applying the pressure if they want to win this one, Brad. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. 
as we see the game situation here. Hey, Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrows point, all factors that are important in close games. The lead trickles down to four. Time is either your best friend or your worst enemy at this point, Brad. with a foul. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. That makes it a four-point lead. These kids are here to fight, Brad. line for the freebie. It's good. He hits the second shot. Timeout's call. And it goes once just talk about how they're going to overcome this big deficit. It's always interesting to see who's still hot and who's not after a timeout, Dick. Well, you got to think the shooters might be the most effective, Brad. The center with the ball. Perfectly executed. Well, Dick, another one's in the books. Any final thoughts about the keys we had coming into this game? These points of emphasis are a great guide for a team. Whether you're an up-tempo, half-court, 